Good morning, everybody. This is Ben back again, and now I have a VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray, and a book update for today, December 25th, a.k.a. Christmas Day of 2019. So, yep. Yep, I got all these for Christmas just recently. Yep. And I got a lot of stuff here, so... And as I mentioned, I got a 4K Blu-ray, so yep, I have a very... I have my first 4K Blu-ray, so I'm on pretty much. So I'm, I'm on the 4K track now, so that's great. But I'll explain more when I get to it. But, anyways, of course, yeah, I got a lot of stuff here. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna move this back. I got a big box set, and this is the Rocky anthology, which contains all five of the first Rocky movies on video. This is really for the 20th, 20th anniversary. As you can see, it's really massive. It's the top, the bottom. Now, I'm gonna show you the movies. This is a big set. First, it also comes with this thing. Yep, I'm very happy that I got the Rocky movies on tape. I've been looking for them for a long time. Anyways, here's the first one. Also, winner of the Best Picture of 1976. Knocked Out by Janet Maslin of Newsweek. Yep, and this has the sticker label. And I did get a comment on Scar Scarvenous Hunter, however you say it. A Scarvenous Hunter, his, um, he commented on one of my updates. He says that MGM actually does put print dates on their tapes, but they do it in a different way, so... With that, I'm going to read the print date, which is right here, December 28th, 1999, which is just a pretty good. So there's the first one. Here's Rocky II. Both of these have Sylvester Stallone in them. Rocky II is a winner by Richard Freeman of the Newhouse Newspapers. Yep. Here's that. This has the same print date as Rocky does. Rocky III. Winner and still champion by time. Yep. Print day on here is December 27th, 1999. Here's Rocky IV. The Rocky Magic continues a two-fisted wallop, wallop by Jack Curry of USA Today. Here's the label. Print date is the same as Rocky III. And finally, Rocky V. This was the last Rocky film to be made until Rocky Balboa came out in 2006, a powerhouse 10 by Susan Granger of American Movie Classics. There's that. And this has the same print date as Rocky 3 and 4. Now as I put all these back inside, inside the box, So yeah, I'm extremely happy that I got the Rocky set on video, so that's really cool. But anyways, there you go, that's that. And these next three movies I have here also have Sylvester Stallone in them, and it's another movie franchise, and I got I got the first three of the Rambo movies on video. We're gonna start with First Blood, this is from 1982. No critic review, but still good. Here's the label. Both of these tapes don't have print dates. Next is Rambo First Blood Part 2. Got the label here. And finally, Rambo 3. This is one that I actually did used to have that I got from the Salvation Army at Southfield, but I ended up donating it. So, luckily I got another copy of this, but this time I'm going to keep this. That that in the first that in First Blood and Rambo 2. So that's great. Here's the label. So there you go, that's the movie franchises. These next two videotapes I have here are just individual films that were that don't have a franchise. Next is another famous film, and this is Raging Bull with Robert De Niro, made by Martin Scorsese from 1980. Very happy that I got this. A rich, harshly honest and mesmerizing film by the Los Angeles Times. Yep. Here's the label here. And 
Print date on here is February 27th, 1992. So there you go. That's Raging Bull. And this last VHS, I got this on DVD, but I got the videotape version of this because... And this is the VHS version of Mona Lisa Smile, because as you know, I got this on DVD. So I will be... I will be doing a comparison video of this maybe later if I can. It says the best picture of the year by far, Mona Lisa Smile will put a smile on your face, in your heart, and in your mind by David Sheehan of CBS TV. Side in the back, Mona Lisa Smile will light you up with laughter and love by Clay Smith of Access Hollywood. So yep, very cool stuff. Here's the label. It has kind of has to get rewound as you can see, and there's no print date. So there you go. That's that. Those are all the videotapes that I got. So now we're going to go on to the DVD. I got one. And it is the DVD of Toy Story 4. Because I got this just so that I can have the all the Toy Story movies on DVD. Because I got the other three on DVD as well. And the third one I have on Blu-ray. And the first two on videotape. But I want to get this on DVD. Because I have the first three on DVD already. But here's the side. Back. Four Stars by Richard Roper Chicago Sun-Times. Here's the disc. And then the rewards code. So there you go. Nice that I got that. Now, I'm going to go on to the four Blu-rays. Well, three of them are regular Blu-rays, and the last one is 4K. We're going to start with Blade Runner 2049 with Ryan Gosling and Harrison Ford. This is the sequel to Blade Runner from 1982. And it says... This stunningly elegant follow-up doesn't depend on having seen the original by Peter DeBurge of Variety. Yep. I didn't get the original, but I wanted to get this. Here's the disc. No artwork on each of them, but it's still good. That's the DVD. So there you go. That's Blade Runner 2049. Next up is, is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This is from 2019, the Blu-ray. Yep, this is Blu-ray and DVD, much like Blade Runner 2049. It's it's not only the coolest Spider-Man epic ever, it's one of the best movies of the year by Peter Travers and Rolling Stone. And um, and I do have to agree, this is a pretty good film. Pretty good animated Spider-Man film, winner Academy Award Best Animated Feature of 2018. I also have another Oscar-winning film that I'll get to. It's for the 4K. Here's the Blu-ray disc. And the DVD disc as well. So I can rewatch this film on DVD, but also, but, but Blu ray is still good in its own way. But there you go, that's that. Next up, we have Venom, or the, the last regular Blu ray I have is Venom with Tom Hardy. This is another Marvel based movie, much like Spy the animated Spider, Spider Man into the Spider Verse. There's no critic review on here, but that's okay. Here's the Blu-ray disc and the DVD disc, which is right behind here. So, unfortunately, it's in the thing that closed. It's not really the best condition, but because I was having kind of bit a hard time opening this. But there you go. That's that. And finally, I have one 4K Blu-ray. So, yep, I'm on the 4K track like everybody else does. And this is the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray of Green Book. Of course, this is another Oscar-winning film, and this also won the Best Picture as well, starring Viggo Mortensen and Mahershala Ali, hugely entertained by Peter Travers and Willing Stone. Yep, side, back. Four Stars, one of the best films of the decade by Rex, Rex Reed of Observer, and it says features HDR for brighter, deeper, more lifelike, lifelike colors. Of course, I don't have a 4K Blu-ray or 4K player, but... This has this comes with the Blu-ray, so this is good. And also it has the black case. Here's the 4K disc and the Blu-ray disc, which has no artwork on it or anything, but still good. Kind of going fast here, but still good. So there you go. I'm very happy that I got a fir my first 4K Blu-ray ever. So yeah, I'm very happy about that. And finally, I got one book. And it is Diary of a Wimpy Kid Wrecking Ball. Because I got the other... I have all the... Now I have all the Wimpy Kid books in my collection. Well, I have the other 13. and This is the 14th one. I have the other third... I have the 13th one up here. And then the rest of them are in the basement. Because I don't got room in, the, in my room. 
but still good. Yep, these are all the Wimpy Kid books. I have all of them, which is really cool. Of course, they're some of my favorite books of all time. Well, in terms of these kinds of books, but yeah, there you go. That's that's that, and that's it for my VHS, DVD, uh, Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray, and book update for December 25th, aka Christmas Day. And so I will see you again later.